Hey folks, thanks for joining me today. We are going to walk through how to take a design that has been done on Tinkercad to the 3D printer. So the first thing we need to do is open up our MakerBot application. This is the application we use for our MakerBot 3D printer. So the first thing we're going to do is open that up then we're going to get our penny boats and we're going to start pulling in some designs. So I'll pull in a design, drag and drop it. So we see it, the design right here. Now this to me, just because I've done this so much, looks a little big. But I'm going to go ahead and look at the time frame, the preview on how long this object would take. And to keep things even, we make sure all the prints are done in one hour or less. So I size them up or down depending on how they come in to the program. And so this one looks like it's just a little bit big to me. And so we're probably going to have to scale it down. So sometimes it takes just a little bit to prepare that preview. We're almost done here and then we'll take a look at it. All right, so now we can see this print would take two hours and 10 minutes to print. And we have this yellow layer is the support material that has to be printed under it. The green is the actual model material. And this would take two hours, 10 minutes, use less than one third of a large spool or 49.5 grams of material. So we're gonna have to scale that down. So I'm going to say, well, it takes two hours and 10 minutes. And you would think cutting it by half would work, but it doesn't always work that way. So we're gonna say 65% percent of the original, and I'm gonna uniform scale it so the X, Y, and Z axis are gonna be scaled down. Push enter, and then you'll see it shrinks quite a bit. So then I'm gonna go back to preview, and then we'll see how long that will take to print after we scaled it down 65%. All right, so we're getting close. We're at 54 minutes. I'm gonna scale that up just a little bit more, see if I can get it right at that 60 minute or 58 minutes, somewhere in there, somewhere as close as we can get to an hour without it going over. So we're going to go back to the scale. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to scale it. I'm going to go 67%, move it up just a smidge, and then go back to print preview. And we'll see what that does. So you can see there's kind of a lot of time involved with these little penny boats. You have to scale them up or scale them down to try to get them exactly to that one hour mark. So it's kind of time involved, a lot of time um, is needed in order to do this. Okay, so now we're at 57 minutes, and so 2% higher grew, grew me 3 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to do 2% more, see what happens. I'm going to click on my object, go to scale it, and I'm going to go to 69% of the original and it'll move up just a little bit and then we'll hit print preview again and we will see what happens now with that time frame. All right, there we go. It's perfect at one hour, zero minutes. So we are gonna go ahead and leave that one alone. So the way we do this now, or what I do rather, is I'm gonna go ahead and click that off, make it disappear, and then bring in another boat. And let's see, I'm gonna try to get the same class here. And hold this one in. Let's 
So now we have a new one. That looks like it might be close to an hour. And I'm gonna go ahead and print preview that. The print preview takes a while. That's probably the longest process of this is after you change the scale, you scale it up or down and then you hit print preview again. Then it has to go because it's going through all the paths. You can see the colors when it comes up, you can see it as it does the layers. And so it has to figure out all the layers in there first before it can show you how long it's going to take. Look at that. That came in super close at 56 minutes. I'm going to try to go bump it up 1% and we'll see what that does. We're going to say 101% moves it up just a smidge we'll see if that's closer to the one hour because we're pretty close we're at 56 minutes but it'd be nice to get to that one hour mark as close as we can to it okay so there we go it looks like one percent equals one minute so i'm going to try to get two more percent out of that and then we'll check it again so i'm at 101 now I'm going to go 103, see if we can get that just a smidge closer to that hour mark, and we'll see what that does on the print preview. All right, very good. We are at one hour again. That's perfect. So we are going to go down unclick this one so it disappears and then we are going to bring in another one so we will see here's one right here we can bring in now this one looks pretty big we are going to have to move that down and before I even print preview that I'm gonna go ahead and shrink it down So I'm going to shrink that down to 65% of what it was, and then I'm going to print preview that. So there we go. We got one hour and nine minutes. We need to shrink that down just a little bit more. And so we will see what we can do. 65. I'm going to move that to... Uh, 63 percent we'll see what that does after we print preview it okay so we didn't change it a whole lot one hour five minutes at 63 percent I'm gonna go and change it down to 60 percent we'll see what that does That puts us at 57 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and try to squeeze just a little bit more into that by saying 61%. And this might put it over, we might have to go back to 60%, but we will check it and see. All right, there we are at 59 minutes, so I don't think we can try to boost that up anymore. It's going to be too big. So we will go ahead and click off of this one. And I think we can probably get one more boat onto this platform. So I'm going to bring in a boat. I'm going to... Whoa, and that one's a big one. So we're going to have to move it down. So I'm going to scale that one. I'm going to say 50% on that one. And that even looks a little big. I might go 48% even. And we'll check that out. All right, 58 minutes. That looks good. So now we are ready to bring all of those in on one build plate. So I'm going to slide this one over. Oops, a little bit past. That red line will pop up red if you get it out of the boundary if i move it out here oh it can't print there so i gotta slide it back in here 
and now it's good. So now I'm gonna click on one that we brought in. I'm gonna slide it over here. If I slide it into something else, I can do that and leave it there, but it'll print with those connected. So I wanna make sure that I'm not doing that. And I'll bring this one in and move it over. And then I'll bring the last one in and then I'll get rid of this thing so I can move them around a little bit. And I like to space them out so they're not too close together so that the base layer is not connected, but it still may be. So now that we have this all together, I'm gonna say file, save project as, the date, I'm gonna save it. So that way it's on my desktop and I'm going to see what's going on with my printer. Right now it says it's offline. I'm not sure why. I might have to turn it off and turn it back on. I'm gonna try to unplug it and plug it back in of my USB. Let's see if that does anything. It looks like it's not doing anything. So now I'm going to unplug my machine and plug it back in. Okay, so the machine is back to good. We're gonna go ahead and print this and it will tell us how long it will take to print. The printer has this cool little camera in it so you can see my hand waving. see the machine moving things around and print getting ready to print it has to heat up to 180 degrees Celsius or 215 degrees Fahrenheit or actually 215 degrees Celsius to print 180 to start so it takes a while for it to heat up it'll home out the machine which means it has to tell the extruder where the tables at and then it will go ahead and put down a practice bead of filament after it heats up and then it will print all this stuff so we will see how this print goes but it will probably take oh four hours and 15 minutes or something like that because there's just a little bit of time each one of those will take an hour, but there's a little bit of time involved moving from piece to piece. So once it gets up to um, temp, it'll print. And once the file is all transferred over, that's what it's doing right now. It's transferring the file over from this computer to the printer. Then it will give us a time frame on how long that will take to print. And then it will go ahead and start printing. And then in four hours and a few minutes afterwards, we'll have four new penny boats that we'll be able to test out. Hey folks, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for the view. I appreciate you hitting that subscribe button and hitting that like button. And if you want, you can go ahead and share it. No big deal. But make sure you work hard because hard work is its own reward. Thanks for watching.